part 16, time. You will find this on page 19 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook, Y equals MX plus C to success. Time conversion. If I want to go from hours to minutes, I must multiply with 60. From minutes to seconds, I must also multiply with 60. If I want to go back from seconds to minutes, I must divide by 60. And if I want to go from minutes to hours, I must also divide by 60. Okay, let's look at example 19. Express 3.8 hours in hours and minutes. Now remember, the 3 is already in hours. So I must just take this comma 8 of an hour to minutes. Okay, so comma 8 of an hour. So I want to take from hours to minutes. So what will I do? I will multiply by 60. So 0 0.8 multiply 60, and that will be 48 minutes. So this will give me 3 hours and 48 minutes. Okay. Express 2 hours and 36 minutes in hours. Okay. Now I want to, this is already in hours, but I want to take this 36 minutes to hours. Now if I want to move from minutes to hours, I must divide by 60. So it's 36 divided by 60, that is 0 0.6 hours. And then I basically just take the 2 hours and I add the 0 0.6 hours, and that will give me 2.6 hours. Okay. Um, I want you to do the following. Okay, let's first, let's first go to example 19. Example 19. You can just do number A and B. So stop the video and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So this is try now 19. Okay. Express 3,2 hours. Okay, let's just go back. I just want to see. Okay. Express 3,2 hours as hours and minutes. Okay, now if I want to go from, okay, let's just, let's just write the table here because it's easy. So it's hours, minutes, seconds. That is 60, 60. So if I want to go to this side, I always multiply. And if I want to come back, I always divide. So if I say comma to hours, if I want to go from hours to minutes, I must multiply 60. So I will just say 0, 0,2 and I will just multiply by 60 and that will give me 12 minutes. So therefore, it will be 3 hours and 12 minutes. Okay, the next one, this was number A, number B. Express 8 hours and 15 minutes as hours. So, it's 8 hours and 15 minutes. So, I must go from minutes back to hours. So, what will I do? I will divide by 60. Divide by 60. So, I will say 15 divide by 60. And that will be... 0 0.25 hours. And then I will just add the 8. So then it will give me 8.25 hours. Okay. I'm going to enlarge this so that you can really see this diagram. Let's just see if we can see it very clear now. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay, let's just go through through this table or this clock. Now, we're going to go through the 24-hour clock and the 12-hour clock. Okay, let's start at 12 in the evening. This is midnight. Okay, there is one. You get the 12-hour clock works like this. It will go 1 to 12, and then it will again go from 1 to 12. But the 24-hour clock, here it is. It will go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But then, look, it will be 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay. Now, if you look at this, let's just compare. In the 12 hour, if it's 1 a.m., it's just 0, 1, 0, 0. 2 a.m. will just be 0, 2, 0, 0. So, if you look in the morning session, the a.m., it's exactly the same on the 24 hour. It's exactly the same. Look there. 8, 8, 9, 9, 10, 10. The only difference is you will just put the zeros. 11, 0, 0, 12, 0, 0. The difference starts when you go to p.m. So if it's p.m., this is the afternoon, I will go on from 12 and that will be 13. And then if it's 2 p.m., it will be 14. So it will every time I will add 12 to get that one. So 3 add 12, 15. 4 p.m. add 12, 16. 5 p.m. add 12, 17. 6 p.m. add 12, 18. And so I can go on. 8 p.m. add 12, 20. 9 p.m. add 12, 21. 10 p.m. add 12, 22. Okay, and if I want to go back, if I want to go from the 24-hour clock back to the 12-hour, I just do the reverse of add 12, and that's subtract 12. So 23 minus 12, that will give me 11, and then I just write p.m. So minus 12, p.m. Minus 12, 1, p.m. 14 minus 12, 2, p.m. So that's the only difference. The morning is exactly the same, the first 12 hours, it's just, I don't write the AM, I just point double point zero zero, and but in the afternoon I add 12. Okay, let's look at an example. Okay, now if I, I want you to, to again try to do this for me, stop the video and do number 2, C and D. And number three, A and B. Okay. Just try to use this clock to help you. I'm just going to make space. Okay. Okay, let's start. We are still with try now. 19 and we are at number 2c okay now this is 2 4 2 a m okay now remember if it's a m and i want to go to this is the 12 hour let's just mark it this is to 12 hour clock and i want to go to the 24 hour clock so basically i will just keep it the same and say it will be, if I go from 2, it will just be 0 to double point four two. It will be exactly the same. Okay. If I look at D, but look at D, it's PM. So it's 9 to 5 PM. But if it's PM, I will add 12. So if I add 12, 9 plus 12, I will get 21 to 5. And I don't write PM or AM. Okay, if I look at number 3, now I will go from the 24 to the 12 hour. Now remember, if it's just 0, 6, 3, oh, if it's less than 12, then I just make 6, 3, O, oh, and that will be A, M. Okay, and if I look the next one, number B, if it's 12, 2, 9, let's just 12, 2, 9. As soon as it's more than 12, then I will just say it's 12, 2, 9. And because it's more than 12, this will be PM. And that will be my answers.